um, we could have launched that missile in August had we had the directive to. But it was uh, the 20, 29C was in storage. And when the Russians launched in October of 57, it did put the whole country in panic because they were our, probably our number one enemy and to be bested by them was really quite uh, difficult. And it was re really discouraging to the people that launched Fort 27C. Because you could have done you, it. We could have beaten them, but you never hear much about that. It's just kind of, uh, I guess, an embarrassment to the to the leadership and to the people that uh, put a lot of pride in what we did. We don't need to uh, go back and cry over spilt milk. Uh, I believe the day, day before the Russians, day before Vanguard was to go, the Russians did their second one. And um, it blew up on the pad. So we were in, in um, November, we were asked in, to, at Huntsville, to prepare and launch, and we did it within three months. Von Braun was in Washington with the news, so that the news could be uh, carried uh, right, right away. And of course, they didn't know until it came back around um, whether it had gone to orbit. They didn't know they were out of range of tracking mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in places so they didn't know if it uh, they knew when it went by the last tracker tracking station that it was there but they didn't know if it fell after that so it was sometime uh it was like 10 o'clock or something like that at night and i think it was somewhere in the early morning uh after midnight that they uh, were able to confirm that we had a had a satellite it was quite an honor, and I never even thought about, uh, of course I was very proud to have been part of that uh, Explorer 1, but then more than that, um, Saturn V was coming off the drawing board, and I was um, absolutely awed by what the uh, geometrics of the Saturn V was, and so it, we didn't have time to sit and think about what the future might uh, consider pretty profound. It was just a day in work, we did it, and we were proud. Now we're going on to the next thing. And after we went to the moon and launched the, uh, uh, we got out of the early design stages of the, of the, uh, uh, control moment gyros for the uh, space uh, for the first space lab uh, they started downsizing and very very drastic I, so I went to see my boss and I said I understand you've put me to be separated he said yep uh, he said I I know that your husband is well paid and you don't really need your job. And I can't take a job from some man and allow you to put a man out of that's got a family. And this was the 70s or the... Yeah. Wow. It was in 1970. And I had put this facade on. He didn't know who he was dealing with. He thought I would go home and cry because I've always been very agreeable even when I didn't, wouldn't have naturally been. I said, Mr. Mandel, I don't accept that. He said, well, there's nothing you can do about it. And I said, well, you may be surprised. He was and I was too. I, I turned into a tiger. I mean, I turned into my real self. And I never covered my who I am again. If somebody wanted to fight, I knew exactly how. 
and they were welcome to come and challenge me. I was not pushy, I never stepped on anybody, but there was nobody gonna step on me. And I think it was because they understood that I was not a pushover. 